from somewhere in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. Hear the radio talk show it is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Uh, you know, I, I've heard this word used to describe me. It is not accurate, but I have heard it, and I want to bring it to your attention. People have used the word controlling. They have told me that I am a controlling person. Now, when I hear the word controlling, I can tell you I have been through the group therapy and the classes that they make you take when you are arrested in a domestic violence situation? Because I was arrested and charged with domestic violence at one time. I'm not a violent person. I did not commit violent acts. But that doesn't stop people from arresting you and uh, accusing you of it. And sometimes the easiest way out of these things is to just simply agree to a plea bargain and be done with it, and that's what I did. This was years ago. But I sat in a room with a bunch of, you know, cholos and heroin addicts and freaks. And uh, many of them had uh, had real control issues. And I've heard that about myself. And uh, let me tell you why people say that. Because they don't know me. Because they can't tell the difference between wanting to control yourself... And wanting to control somebody else. I like my life under control. Let me give you an example of the things I want to control in my life. I don't want people having my baby. So I do everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. Meaning, I don't hand out my DNA. <laughs> I don't... Uh, have sex without a condom. I refuse to have sex without birth control. I mean, I control myself. If somebody else doesn't want to use birth control, I don't want to have sex with them. And if somebody says, I don't want you to use a condom, I won't have sex with them. Because I know they want to have a baby. And because I don't want them having my baby, does not mean I'm controlling them. It means I'm controlling me. I don't want someone else spending the money I earn. That doesn't mean I don't want them spending the money they earn. That doesn't mean I don't want them spending their money on whatever they want to spend it on. I just don't want them spending my money on whatever they want to spend it on. That is not being controlling. And by the way, uh, because people love to say that I'm controlling, I've solved the problem. I'm not married. Nobody lives with me. And therefore, nobody can accuse me of controlling others. I would. It, <laughs> the price to pay is too high for a relationship. I would much rather have complete control of my finances than to put them in the hands of somebody who didn't go out and earn the money the way I go out and earn it. So the simple thing to do is to say, okay, anybody I date, you live there, I live here. We don't live together. We're not married. We don't have children together. You are free to spend money, waste money, just, you know, 
Toss it away. Flush it down the toilet. Do whatever you want. I'm never going to tell you where to live or what kind of place to live in or how to decorate it or what to do to it. It's not my business. And you are not going to do that to me. You're not going to come in and tell me uh, what furniture to buy. You're not going to tell me uh, how to design or decorate my home. You see, I don't want to compromise. I don't want a life of compromise. All this talk about needing compromise in my life has made me sick. I've been married. I've lived with women. I've seen what that's like. I'm tired of compromising. Because compromising usually means giving in to her. Compromising usually means she tells you what she wants to do and you say yes, dear. That's compromising. I refuse to do it. I see other people doing it and I refuse to do it. That's not being controlling. I'm controlling my environment. I'm controlling my house. I'm controlling the way I do things. I'm controlling the way my money is spent. And so that nobody can accuse me of being controlling, I simply say, you're not living in my house. And that's not being controlling either. It's the exact opposite of controlling. If you live in your own place, you can do what you want with your place. You can do what you want in your place. You can have sex with whoever you want to. You can hang out with whatever friends you want. You can stay out as late as you like. You can come home anytime you like. And so can I. There's absolutely no controlling of anybody. It's that simple. And yet people still love to use that word controlling. I control nobody. When I have told women, there's the door... And I have. When I have told women that, uh, the fact is that I was doing the exact opposite of controlling them. If they didn't like the way I was doing things, they should find their own place to live. That's not controlling them. If they don't like the way I like my home, the way I like things, they should find their own place to live and do things their way at their home. If they need the garbage taken out every night at 7.30 on time, they should get their own place and put it out at 7.30 on time every night. Don't be moving into my place and telling me what time to take the garbage out. Don't be moving into my place and telling me uh, that what kind of furniture I'm not going to own anymore or what TV screens are not going in what rooms. Don't be coming in there and telling me I have to get rid of a bed because some other chick once slept in it with me. You're not going to control what's going on in my life. You're not going to come into my home and tell me that people can't smoke weed or I have to shake people down to see if they've got any meth with them or anything. Nobody is going to do that. What it boils down to is when you don't let a woman control you, people say that men are controlling. I have no interest in controlling anybody. I only want to control me and my home. Bottom line. Bottom line. Now, I know there are people, there are guys who follow you everywhere you go. You know, you leave the house, and they're following a couple of car lengths behind. I know there are guys who are breathing down your neck and, you know, going through your thing, going through your purse and looking at your receipts and looking at your cell phone and going through everything. Yeah, I know there are guys like that. I'm not one of them. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you do it. I don't care where you go. I don't care what time you come home. I don't care if you stay out of the house for three days. It's not my problem. Because I'm doing the same thing, that's that. Nobody's controlling anybody. But there are people out there who, number one, think I should be in a relationship, and number two, think I should, quote-unquote, compromise with people. I should compromise. I should give in. I need to work at it. I need to be willing to talk. And you know what? I'm not. The price is too high to pay. I've had enough stress, I've had enough critiquing and criticism, I've had enough people telling me what to do, and then on top of that, after telling me what to do, how to do it, what time to come home, what time to put the garbage out, then I've been told I am controlling. It's absurd. Never have I been happier in my life than the years I have had nobody to control or to accuse me of being controlling. Living alone has been the happiest time of my life. Nobody's going to tell me I'm controlling anything. I'm ripping mad. One woman cheated on me one time, 
And because I found out that she cheated on me and I actually had information about what hotel she was in, who she was with, how much of our money she had spent on these little escapades she was having, she told me I was controlling. I was controlling. You're banging around behind my back at my expense, and then when I find out about it and I tell you to stop doing it or come clean with me, I'm a controlling individual. I'm fed up. Now, by the way, don't think I'm angry or bitter. I'm the exact opposite. I am free. I am liberated, liberated from women who do this. I'm so tired of it. So tired of it. And now that I don't have anyone bossing me around, I don't have anybody telling me what to do, life is good again. Life is the best it's ever been. And yes, have there been women who say, Come on, it's time for you to settle down. Come on. It doesn't matter. I haven't. Well, I've settled down. I am settled. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this past week, I've uh, owned my house down in the Hollywood Hills for 11 years. Uh, this summer, I've been, uh, it'll be my 20th anniversary, 20 years since I first went on L.A. radio, and very few people are on the radio in Los Angeles for 20 years. 20 years in L.A. radio. How much more settled down can I get? I've got friends I've known for 10, 15, 20, 25 years. I've settled down. I just don't have some bitch telling me what to do. How to do it, what I do wrong, what jokes I tell that aren't funny, what I should be doing at work. You should change your show. You should be more like NPR. Shut up. Heard all this already. I'm sick of it. The ones who are controlling are these bitches. And I have solved the problem by extracting them from my home. Doesn't that make sense? Some like it. one 800 800 Tom. Tom like it. There's so much ignorance in this world, Father. And, uh, I, I, there's so I, much ignorance in the world. That's how I became a multi-millionaire. <laughs> if our community ever goes up five IQ points, I'm a dead man. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Fight being part of the program. Okay. I was just moved to give a lengthy dissertation on uh, the fact that people love to call me a controlling individual. And it's like, pff, I'm anything but controlling. Rather have nobody living with me. I'd rather control nothing, nobody. I just want to control me. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tiffany on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tiffany. Um, I just want to call because I am engaged and I live with my fiancé, but I'm nothing like one of those girls that you're talking about, and I think it's totally fine that you live on your own, and if that makes you happy, that makes you happy. Who cares? It makes me happier than anything you can imagine. Because, I mean, most girls are going to sit there and say, oh, I don't like this. I've seen it. I have friends that have boyfriends and and fiancés or whatever, and they go in their house and they're like, ew, this is gross, or, oh, I don't want you to have this, or don't do that, and you can't go out. I don't do that. He can be who he wants to be. He's not going to change who he is. If that's what I want to be with is that kind of a person that he wants to do his own thing, then that's who I'm going to be with. And if he's happy, I'm happy. Makes sense to me. But again, different Tiffany, you're 20 years old. You're engaged already? What are you doing? I've already had my fun. I'm over Oh, it. I've had my fun. <laughs> what have you, at 20, what fun have you had exactly? I mean, I've been with a lot of guys, and I mean, I just... How many know. guys have you had sex with? Like 10 or 11. 10 or 11, that's it. You've had what your what? fun. You know, you're not even old enough to go to a bar legally. In six months, I am. Yeah, but you're engaged. What are you going to do when you get there? I'm going to go out. And do what? And have a good time and drink. And I don't have to, you know, I can be single. I can be engaged. I can still have just the same amount of fun as I want. Well, you really can't because when I go to a bar, I'm there to hook up with people. People like you. Yeah, but, I mean, all the guys I've ever met, I mean, I've been to the bar scenes. Like, I've been there before. But the bar scene. All the guys I've ever met there, they're just, 
really lame, and I really don't want to deal with their stupidity. So why do you go to Bosch? I don't anymore. So you just said you're going to keep doing it. When I turn 21, I will. I'll try it out So again. why do you think it'll get better then? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I had a funny story to tell you. Okay. I was, at a, I was at a party with a bunch of girls, and like this guy invited these girls over, and you were talking about that lady that wrote the um, amendments or whatever for women, like how guys should do things. I don't know. It was a couple weeks ago, but they were talking about him, and I said, I tried to call in, and my phone died whenever I tried to call you. And as soon as I said your name, these group of girls turned around, and they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe you listen to him. He is so horrible. He's the worst person ever. All he does is sit there and talk bad about girls. And I'm like, the only reason you don't like him is because you're the dumb girl he's probably talking about. That's right. If you don't like him, that's why. You're, you're exactly right. I. That's why I love you, because, I mean... Yeah, you do talk about girls and, like, how they do stupid things. But, you know, there are girls out there that aren't like the ones you're talking about, and that's why I love listening to you, because I'm not one of those dumb girls. Hang on a second, Tiffany. This is Bert. Bert, what do you want to say to Tiffany here? Well, uh, how old are you, uh, Tiffany? 20. 20. So you don't really know anything about anything. No, I, I'm very, very grown up for my age. You'd have to know No, me you're not that. grown up. Yeah. I, I'm I'm a like with Likers, and the reason I like his name is because Tom likes us. But you I don't mean, have no clue. You're saying Tom doesn't like me? No, he doesn't. So where do you, you got that? You got that little whiny voice, and uh, it's annoying. Okay, well your little accent is real annoying too. So my little whiny voice that's bothering you. Too damn bad because I well, have I'm a, a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I might be from I'm not one of those dumb people calling in and saying Tom is the worst person ever for having the radio station. I think he's awesome. I think what he says is totally true, and I totally understand where he's coming from. And I love you. Don't to you don't? I don't really. Am I stupid because I'm 20? Why don't you shut your mouth oh, and know me before you start talking about me like that? You have no idea who I am. You have no idea where I came from. So you really have no right to say anything. Where are you, where you me, from? I guarantee I'm going to Where are you from? Where am I from? California. Somewhere that you're not. Oh, Jesus. Very hey, mother truck. Damn. Well, I'm 43 years old. You brought in your mouth because you're probably a divorced 43-year-old loser. I'm like you. you know, yeah, and, and I spent my life time in South America, and I spent my time in military. I have nothing going for you, so... Congratulations. You called into the show. You got your voice heard on the radio. You're so cool. You're 43. Enjoy your life because I guarantee you listen to the radio station and wish well, you I grant you one thing. You're going to screw around on your husband. You'll do it in a heartbeat. No, you'll do it in a heartbeat. I, I agree with Tom. You'll do it. I do what? You, 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 you will find someone else. You'll drop what you got and go with it. Go with what? Whatever you find. <laughs> I have no Tom, idea. Tom, quit laughing. It, it, it's too hilarious. <laughs> Tom, you're you're starting to make. <laughs> Whose dog is that barking in the background? By the way. <laughs> oh, that's Lino. I see. <laughs> that's Lino. He barks at every little bitch that comes around. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so uneducated. It's awesome. Thank you for that, Bert. Uh, Anthony, what did you want to say to Tiffany here? Hey, Tom. What's up? Uh, I just want to let her know, dude, this is the same type, type of chick I'd be banging every night at the bar. She's the type of chick you go out to see. You know, she says when she turns 21, she's going to go out and have fun. Exactly. When she turns 21, she's going to see people like me at the bar, and I guarantee I'll be banging her by the end of the night. Well, if that happens, then that happens. But I'm engaged and I'm happy for now. If I end up finding something else, just like if he ends up finding something else, then that's what no, no, baby, baby, I guarantee you it would happen. You guarantee? I, I, I can guarantee that. I'm not one of the dumb sluts that you need to buy, though. That's what well, you pretty you sound like it to me. Why would that sound? Why would I sound like a dumb slut? Because I'm calling in and saying that I enjoy Tom Show and that I totally understand that he wants to be alone, and I don't think he's controlling, so that makes me a dumb slut at a bar. That makes hey. perfect sense. That makes so much sense. I totally understand. 
not. Girl, girls like you are the reason why, like, guys like me have good times at bars and, no, and just see, have fun with, with 21-year-olds. you're mistaking me for the dumb girl that you take home. I'm not a dumb girl that you're going to take home because I'm not easy. I've been dating him for five years now. I'm very happy in my relationship. I have no intention of going to a bar with the intention of going and hooking up with somebody. That's not what I'm there for. If I'm there with a couple of my girlfriends and a guy approaches me, I will talk to you. Okay, but if well, you what die, is, you're going to be you're, stupid and I'm going to end the conversation because I'm annoyed with you. So you're telling me you're not easy, but uh, you're not even 21 and you've uh, hooked up with already how many? 10, 11? Oh, because that's hey, out of the number. How about this? How about this? Just, get, just give me your number and uh, you, we can make me 12. So that makes me a slut when I'm pretty sure every girl that you're picking up in the bar has hooked up with at least 50. And guess what? I'm clean and I'm pretty sure if you're going out and hooking up with dumb sluts in the bars, you have a disease. And guess what? I might slut with 10, 11 guys, but I'm clean, I'm engaged, I'm happy, and I'm sorry that your life sucks so much, but you have to call in and complain and and tell me and put other people down because I called in for a simple reason. Now everyone wants to attack me because I'm engaged and I'm happy and I'm I'm young. Oh my God, heaven forbid you be young and happy. Damn. All I gotta I'm say is, happy. I bet your boyfriend your boyfriend's gonna have a good time with you. Uh, he's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Anthony, uh, thank you for the call. Natalie, what did you want to say to Tiffany? Um, I just want to let her know that Tom, she's exactly what you always talk about. I mean. She talks so much. I mean, she's the type of girl that a guy don't, doesn't want because she talks too much. She's that's saying why that I'm engaged, right? Up and whatever, but <laughs> that's why I'm engaged, right? On, 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 on. Want. <laughs> yeah. And at 20, you really don't know what you want. I mean, I have, I'm 20, but I am nowhere near thinking the way she is right now. I mean, all I want to do is go to school and make it and make guys happy, yeah, but get married and be engaged and talk as much as she is, gosh, I don't know what kind of guy wants you. I might be 20, and I do have friends that are my age, and you're right. A lot of my friends have no idea what they want, but you know what? I do know what I want. I found what I wanted. But you don't know what you want. You think you know what you want. You know me, right? You, you've met me before, and you, you, you know who I am. I tell you who you are. So then stop talking. If you don't know who I am, then you have no way of knowing what I want to know or how I know or what my life is about. You have no way of knowing. All guys want to do is screw you and hope that you shut up. Oh, screw me. Hey, 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 we're on the air. You can't say that word on the air. Tom, usually girls. Usually girls, little girls that are 20 and say, oh, you don't know me. I'm grown up. That's what every girl that doesn't know what she wants. That's what they say. You don't know me. I'm older. I'm mature for my age. It's like, no, you're not. You need the experience. So You don't know anything about it. I know it. what I want. You're 20 years old. How could you know anything? <laughs> I know what I want. I've had enough experience to know that guys are douchebags and the fact that I found out what I want and I'm happy where I'm at. Then I'm Have happy you traveled? Where I'm at. Have you gone out? Have you actually gone out to the real world other than, like, L.A. or California? Actually, yeah, I have. But you wouldn't know that about me because you're just sitting here talking crap. Where have you been? You know where have I been? Am. I've been a lot of places. What? Like where? I've been all over the country and seen everything, done everything, been to bars, been to Vegas, <laughs> been everywhere. I don't need to, to have Vegas. that to be happy. You're 20 years old. Yeah, what are you going to do in Vegas? Vegas? Heidi, I'm pretty sure you have one. <laughs> you're pretty sure I have what? Heidi, because I'm pretty sure everybody that I know that is 20 or under has been to Vegas and gambled before. So, yeah, I've had had my fun in Vegas. I've been to the clubs. I've been out. I've done all that. Okay. You've okay. done it. That's but it. But everybody been 21 years old. Oh, boy. All and right. Well, uh, uh, by the way, Natalie, thank you on that. Let me get Lisa in here. Lisa, what did you want to say to Tiffany? Okay, who is she trying to convince, me or you? I, don't, I mean, she doesn't know what the heck she's talking about. I have a 20-year-old daughter. Uh, my daughter is in her final year of, at UCI. She's going straight from there to law school. She doesn't have a boyfriend because she knows it's a big waste of time. I mean, it's like she, this girl doesn't, has absolutely no idea. I've been with my husband since we were 15. I'm 43 now. And, yes, we were one of those lucky couples that were able to do that. But for the most part, it, you know, at 20 years old, you don't, at 30, you're completely different than you did at 20. I mean, it's, she's a dingleberry. I mean, there's no other word for it. She's an airhead. She needs so, to wake up. Because I'm young, I'm can't be. No, 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 no. It's not about being young. It's not about being.
you met your, you met your husband at 15 and you've been married now. You're 43. Guess what? My parents met when they were 16 and they're the lucky couple too. So what's to say that we're not a lucky couple? What's to say that we're not happy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nobody's getting married till they're 30. That's not um, like the problem that people want to party and get drunk. And it's like the out. New York no, no, State no, no, Lottery. No, no. It could happen to you. I didn't hurt anybody. Probably won't. And I'm going places. So, okay, no, no, no. Let me just me out. I'm not going anywhere. And guess what? My parents are completely supportive of our relationship. And my mom and dad know I'm going places. Yeah, I'm in school. I'm going to be a nurse practitioner. I will have a degree. A nurse practitioner? Why aren't you thinking I'm bigger? Why aren't you thinking the doctor? I mean, why, why, why think so minuscule? I mean, that's that's nothing. A nurse practitioner, you go to Westwood College for that. Go get a degree, a Actually, real degree. Actually, no, work. you can't. Actually, no, you can't. You have to go to a four-year college and get your bachelor's. What school and then are you at? Master's. What school are you at? Right what now, are you? I'm in the honor huh? program at Cypress. Okay, Cypress College right there in Cypress near Los Alamitos, right? No, off of the 91 in Valley View. Okay, well, close enough to Los Alamitos. As I mean, a community I'm college? Sorry. Can I just say something to you? Way. The fact of the matter is that just because I did it, I would never suggest doing that. I would never tell anybody to do what I did. I don't think it was a smart move. You know, it worked out, but you know what? I could have, and I missed out on so many opportunities and so many wonderful experiences because I did that, because I didn't want to give up. Still illegal. You got to stop. I, I don't know what I have to do to convince you girls and guys to stop cursing on the air. It's It's out of control. There was a time way back when when you would pick up the phone and you get a chick on the phone and you were relatively certain that you wouldn't have to bleep it. The, the, the chicks at least made an effort not to speak like that. Those days are gone. <laughs> they went right out the window along with, uh, you know, chicks don't F around. Chicks are loyal. <laughs> All that stuff went out the window. Guys and chicks are exactly the same. I think chicks are worse. Cursing and cursing and cursing again. Unbelievable. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. You say uh, women are just toilets? That does not make any sense. Human okay. toilet, yes. That is crap. Like, okay, a girl cannot be called a toilet. Appropriate. It's the Tom Like It Show. Tom, like his show. Do you have a filthy... We have Tiffany's fiancé calling you now. Do you have a filthy mouth like your fiancé? Because if you do, I'm hanging up right now. No, I don't. She said the F word four times. Well, that, for that, I apologize. There's nothing I can do about that, but I won't be doing that. So why are you calling you that? Well, I'm calling because, you know, I think that we are making the right decision. We've heard all this already. Well... Yes and no. Well, what do you know? I thought I was making the right decision when I wanted to drive a fire truck at 12 years old, okay? It doesn't mean I knew what I was doing. Correct. I mean, you know, as it is, you take one step at a time, one day at a time. I mean, there's no there's no book on life to read on how well, to Well, that's right, but it. the odds are you're going to fail. According to that's statistics, uh, the odds are you'll fail. So I know you think you know what you're doing the right thing. Uh, so everybody who gets married thinks they're doing the right thing. Everybody. But you're going to find out the hard way. And, uh, you know, sure, there's a chance you'll win the lottery this Saturday. It's just not likely. Exactly. And, you know, it's one of those It's one of those things for me where, you know, I am doing what I want to do. I still go out with my boys at the bars every weekend. You know, we... We do what we we do what we blah, want. Blah blah blah. The point is, uh, you're too young to be making this kind of commitment, and she's way too young to be making this kind of commitment. And you're going to find out the hard way. But you're not going to listen to reason from anybody. So go right ahead. You're going to do what you want anyway. I don't even know why you're calling to justify what you're doing, unless maybe you have your own insecurity about it. Hey, why do oh, you care? Even... Why do you care if I agree or disagree? Why do you care if anybody agrees or disagrees? And she just called in and made her point and used the F word four times. Now you're calling in to tell us you're doing the right thing. Who? Why do you care what I think? To be honest with you, it's not really. I'm not trying to get an approval by. Anybody. So why are you calling in? Well, I just wanted to call because I feel that you know it's it's a very just 
reason. I feel because that because what's the, the very reason? just reason? But uh, but everybody thinks it's the right thing. So what? Everybody who gets married thinks they're doing the right thing. Well, I think some people also get suckered into it. Uh, pal, you're getting suckered into it. Well, how? Because you're too young to be getting married. And and the younger you get married, the more likely it is you will fail. And the younger she is when she gets married, the uh, more likely it is she will fail. And she's younger than you. Correct. That's how. Hello? I'm waiting for your brilliant uh, comeback here. No, I, I thought I thought it cut off. No, I mean there is no brilliant comeback because at this at this stage in your life, there, you don't know you don't know right from wrong until you live right from wrong. But 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 if you don't know right from wrong, if you don't know whether you're going to succeed or not, or the odds are against you, aren't you better off waiting? Probably, but you won't. You you got your foot on the gas and you're heading for the brick wall, and nobody can tell you no. You're right. So, then go ahead. Why are you calling a radio program? Just go ahead and drive into the wall. That's like people who call in to say they're committing suicide. I say, why didn't you just kill yourself? Why'd you call in to tell me about it? Yeah, I could see that. Just do it. Just go kill yourself. All right. Why do you care what I think? Why do you care what anybody thinks? You clearly know more than the rest. Tell her to shut the goddamn radio off, please. You got it. Now? It's off. I mean, if you know more than the rest of us, why do you care what we think? Well, I'm not. That's the thing. I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying that I know more than Yes, you else. are. Because you insisted on calling in. After your girl took up 15 minutes of airtime and cursed her way into oblivion, now you had to call in, and now you have to stick up for your decision. It sounds to me like you're probably a little insecure about the decision, which you would never admit to. Well, I mean, if you're, why are you so concerned that people know you're doing the right thing? Why do you care? That's that's my point. It's not about it's not about proving right or wrong. So why are you calling it? Why did you call? Why did I call? Yes, I called because everybody was attacking our decision. Yeah, and, and what do you care if, if everybody thinks you're making the wrong decision? Which I also believe. Why do you care? It's about standing up for me. It's about yeah, buddy, up for no one knows who you are. You're 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 just another speck of dust in a sea of callers. Why do you care? To be honest with you, yeah, I'm going to tell you why. Because you yourself have doubts about it, and that's why you're so obsessed with calling up here and setting the record straight and making sure everybody knows the two of you are in love. It's a very special love. It's a love like no two people have ever experienced before. And despite the fact that everybody thinks your love is wrong, you know it's right, and you had to call in and tell all of us about it. No. Not even. What is it? I just told you. It's because everybody's attacking us for our decision. I feel like standing up for myself. Why you? Why do you need to stand up for yourself? You clearly know more than everybody. No, I don't. Yes, you I mean, do. I'll, oh, I'll the, yes, you do. Admit, you know, know more than ever. Let, let, let me pick up four or five random calls here and see. Uh, let's see if you know more than Matt. Matt? Yeah, I, I just, uh, the reason why he doesn't have a brilliant comment, because he's not a brilliant guy. I just want him to do the math. This chick's 20 years old, been with him for five years. She's been 10, 11 dudes. I assume one of them has been him. So that means by the age of 15, she's been 10 dudes. You want to marry a chick that's been 10 dudes at the age of 15? Unless she lied to Tom, she said 20 years old, been 11 dudes, been with you for five years. It's a little, uh... Uh, that would that would make me run. Well, that number that number is a lot smaller compared to the number that I had at 15 years old. So for that, I mean, we both lived our lives. A they've lot already before. lived their lives. And, and, and she's 20, he's 24. They've already done everything an adult can possibly do. They've done it, everything, everything. They've uh, they've gotten complete educations. They've traveled to other countries. They've had every possible experience a person can have. It's time to settle down because they've done everything two people can do. Right, Matt? Uh, I, I should go out and look for some fifteen year olds that have uh, that are about eight or ten, eight, nine, ten dudes in, and maybe uh, <laughs> maybe that'll make me happy. <laughs> uh, Alan, uh, what did you want to say to Marty? 
Dude, first of all, your girl told you to call in. That's why you're calling in. Dude, you need to man up. Grab your balls, man up. You ain't even saying anything to Tom, and Tom's giving you every opportunity, dude. And the last guy just totally punked you. I mean, come on. And your girlfriend couldn't even defend herself. She had to cuss it, you know, on the race. What's up? Damn, dude, what are you going to say to that? that? I don't need to make some awesome comeback to anybody. I'm just here letting you know that you have no comeback, dude. This is you have no comeback, dude. Dude, come on. Your girl had a better comeback than you. Come on, dude. Grow up here. I'm telling you straight up, this is what I feel, this is what I believe in, and this is what I'm doing. Like, there's no, there's no, you, you, you are a complete the way that you're living your life. You are a complete pussy. Just like Tom says to all the other idiots that call in, you are a complete pussy. Admit it. Dude, you didn't still have a chance to back out of it. We knew it's not true. That's not true. How is that true? You know, Tom, have you said anything that like, has any credence to... Well, the point is, he, he certainly hasn't proven me wrong. In fact, he's doing the exact opposite by calling in and, and once again trying to defend himself. All he's doing is confirming in my mind that he himself has doubts about the relationship. Because if he knows so much, why does he need my approval? I, I'll tell you what, I do things in my life. I don't come on the air asking for approval. I do them or they don't. I do Absolutely. them or I don't. You're right. I don't worry I don't about care, what other people think. Tom, I couldn't care less was, what other people think. the last think. time a guy like me ever called in and you gave your approval? Obviously, I knew calling in I wasn't going to get So the then why are you trying to get it? Why call in? Why are you calling in to defend yourself? If you're so much smarter about you than I am, why do you need to defend yourself? Absolutely. Tom, I've had enough. Can you blow me up? Yes. Yes, I can. What did you want to say here to Marty? I was with my ex-husband for 20 years. It, I've got three kids on my own single. Got married when I was 31. It is not all it is cracked up to be. People think that when you get married, it's all, I'm so in love, it's all hunky-dory fine. It is hard, hard work. What's the difference of being married and living together? There is no difference except for a legal piece of paper. It is one of the hardest things I have ever done in my entire life. Never would go back and do it again. They are so young. They have absolutely no idea what is in the future for them. The only reason that we're taking it to the next level is because we do want the family. And, you know, we both grew, and I know, or at least I grew up with the fact that, you know, you do things or you do things this way and you, it's the right way and, that's what I want to do. I want that family. I want to live the life that my parents have also lived, and that's what I want. Okay, so how? I uh, hear she's 20. How old are you? I just turned 24. You guys are so, absolutely so young. I'm almost 46 years old, and I still don't get it. Okay, did you come from a broken home? I'm just, I mean, this isn't personal. No, did you? no. My parents were married for 50 years before my mom passed away. And broken home, no broken home, that has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the reality of life and how difficult things in situ Do you know why marriages break up? The number one reason marriages break up. Because guys marry women. Our email address, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likes Show.